Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchellack and we're going to talk a little bit about recoil control with a handgun. It's going to be with a pistol. So, what you want to remember when you're shooting a pistol, if it's in the air, it's not on target. So, in, a, in an action shooting scenario, there's no reason whatsoever to have the gun recoil. So when I'm shooting rapid fire, especially rapid fire, I, what I call rapid fire is when you get around six rounds a second in, into that realm, you cannot tolerate any recoil at all. Uh, shooting plate racks, shooting multiple targets, self-defense shooting, uh, step that, those kind of scenarios, you really want to have the ability to put the horsepower on the target really quick. So you can't accept recoil. So how do you get around that? So I brought my trusty target stick right here to give you an idea of the muscle tension that I use. If I gave you this pole and I said, hey, Fred, run this in the ground, you would have it right here and you'd put your weight on it and you would stab it in the ground. So that's the kind of thought pattern you want to have when you shoot rapid fire. So right here's your sweet spot. If I gave you something to work on, you'd do it right here, but you you really it's too close to your eye to see the sights correctly. So the more extension you have, the less ability you have to torque down into the ground. So a good way to practice that sensation of holding the gun with the right amount of torque is to get your pole like this and get it out in front of you and grab it like you would a pistol and then push it into the ground. And you notice what I'm trying to do, I'm using my back, I'm locking my back. Uh, my shoulders, my arms, and what I'm trying to do is put torque down on the stick just like when that handgun is going to go off, it's, its intention is to come back. So I'm going to say no, I'm not going to let that happen. So I have that ability here to push down on this stick. So I'm really torquing down and you notice that if I do like this, I lose a lot of my ability to control it. So I'm staying on the front of my feet, got my arms parallel to the ground, my elbows are not under the gun. I'm not giving it a pivot point to break back on. I have them parallel to the ground and I'm pushing down into the ground like this. And right here, I've got a lot of control. I'm not fully extended. I'm just broken my elbows a little bit. Acts as a shock absorber and I've got a good thrust right here. So I get rid of the stick and that's where I'm gonna have that pistol, right here. That's my sweet spot. I've got a lot of torque. My back is locked, my arms are locked. But the big thing with your wrist is that you want to not only grab the gun correctly and, and very vigorously to the point to where it doesn't shake, but I'm also locking my wrist right here so when the gun goes off, the muzzle will not noodle. I call it noodling. If you're noodling, you've got a way big shot dispersion on the target and your rapid fire is going to look really ugly. So what I'm trying to do here is lock that wrist so when this thing goes off, it's going to recoil straight up and down. And the reason you want that thing to recoil straight up and down, you'll never lose the sight. If you're noodling, it's going to be dipping and diving. It's going to look like uh, that red dot. Is going to, it's going to look like a comet. It's going to have a tail on it. You don't want that. You want it to have a, uh, a very repeatable performance on the dot. It's just going to jump straight up and down just like that. And I know what you're thinking. Shut up and shoot. So I'll give you a little demonstration here to put my ears on. So if you just watch the end of the muzzle, the whole gun is going to recoil straight up and down and not the end of the muzzle. I'm not going to let it noodle. So, all right, no noodling allowed here, guys. All right, here we go. Let's, get, let's go ahead and pop a few rounds out. See what I'm saying? Don't let it jump. Thrust down on it. And there you have it, guys, that easy. That hard.